he's Mike, I'm Juan Pablo, and we have this podcast um, called Horrorama, which is uh, mostly about horror uh, films. So, uh, first of all, congratulations on, on the movie. We watched Thank it you. yesterday and it was fantastic. We Thank wanted you. to ask you, which did the, wh where did the idea come from uh, for, for making this film? Yeah, the, the, the original idea came from, from the short film uh, and Lorcan really was the writer of, of, the, of the script for, for the short. And it was, uh, his process was more thinking about a situation where someone is, is going to meet a, a dead relative but reacts in a, in a way that you don't expect him to react. And it started being like a medium, but it developed into something visually more interesting. So when I, when I came into the project, when I read the script, I, I said, okay, I want to do this short, but I, I wanted uh, it to be like a transfer to feature because I could see already that it is handling on, on universal themes, like grief is something that I was always fascinated by. And it has an iconic uh, character like like the witch, and that's how the process started. Okay, okay. fantastic. Uh, this one's for the, uh, both of you. Of you, um, if you had the opportunity to talk with the dead, who would you choose, and why this first? <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand the amount of times we've had that today. <laughs> um, Freddie Mercury, Cleopatra, Cleopatra. grandparents. Yes, okay. uh, it's, uh, yeah. I, I think it's more about the, the thrill. And she wouldn't like to be scared, but I would. I would like to have yeah, it a I bit said, scary. Yeah, I said I don't want the repercussions that's in this. No, yeah, no. Of course. But yeah, it's bringing something like Freddie Mercury feels like you are going to get your two minutes or a live performance. <laughs> Nobody else is going to have. So it feels really cool. Yeah, that's a great answer. Just okay. stealing it from me now. <laughs> and talking about um, uh, the acting process, which was the main challenge for this character? The main challenge was. Um, uh trying to surrender to the genre and to sometimes the the lack of logic that that can involve and um to sometimes um lean more on the supernatural element in in, in moments towards the end when she really is being drawn by that drawn into that creature and and as to why she's staying there um i i think there's that it was challenging at the beginning because um as actors, we're always trying to fight for that the, the character-driven um, moments and and to really make sure that there's time for that so that people can care about them. And um, but then again, there also had to be that 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 balance between your instincts and also, like I say, the, the genre yeah. of the film. Um, and so I think that was probably my biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And speaking of which, uh, what are the main differences between you and Iris? Main differences would be, I would like to say, I, I, I well, main differences. Are there any? There are, there are, there are. I probably, I just don't like being mean to her, you know, but yeah. I probably just, I probably would be Katie. I'd be like, come on, come on, you know, like let's, let's skedaddle and yeah. get out of here. Maybe not go into the basement again, yeah. you know? Um, I think you're a bit more, yeah. I think I'm, I think I'm less. Um, there's something a little bit cold about Iris. She's not really like that, but she's got a wall up. Yeah. And I'd say I'm a little bit more ex uh, expressive of um, feelings, and I think she likes to keep it pent up. I think she's more reckless than, than yeah. you are, and she needs. She has something to prove to herself, and that's what makes. Do you think she's making. brave or greedy? Uh, I, think it's a, I think <laughs> ah, it's, it's difficult to say. I, again, I don't think I, she's, I, don't, I wouldn't say she's brave. No, no and, and I wouldn't say she's greedy either. I think it's the circumstances. Yeah. If, if you understand the parts of, of the character, you, you know that you get into a situation where everything is in front of you and it's very difficult to say no because it's the classic Faustian part. Yeah, and she's never had a control, yeah. of, she's not had control of exactly. anything in her life. Yeah. And you know, and finally she she does. Of course, it then flips on it in, on its head, and then she she loses all control. Yeah. But initially, it's that control, it's that financial stability, it's that it's power. that purpose, the power, the, power. the, the uniqueness yeah. of the situation. You know, um, she feels special for once. Yeah. yeah. And the last question: um, Which other films do you uh, think that have inspired that inspired back up? Oh, for, there are so many. I mean, I I watch so so many uh, horror movies. Um, I don't think there is a peculiar 
movie, but I'm very influenced for all the individuals for uh, Japanese movies like The Ring, uh, You Own. Uh, that is the kind of visuals that, that appeal to me um, in terms of creating these eerie characters, I, I, would, I would say, yes. Okay, well, that's, what the, that's all the time that we have. Thank you so much and welcome to Mexico. Thanks, Thank guys. you very much. Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you. you.